I mean, I came like the Graham Burlington motherfucker. A top secret suitcase was on a chase as this holds a very private and personal details of certain politicians. This was hidden inside an old car and was supposed to be at the hands of a secret group. Jamie is an out lesbian who just loves to play around with women despite having a relationship with Suki, who is a cop. Suki gets upset on how Jamie treats her, so she decides to end up her relationship with Jamie. Yes, there. Oh, no one's here, babe. Marion, Jamie's friend, knew about her infidelity towards Suki and tells her to stop playing around. Marion is not attracted to men, so despite getting invitations for a date, she ends up disappointing the guy. Marion tells Jamie she plans to go to Tallahassee for a holiday trip. Jamie, without thinking twice, tells Marion she loves to go with her. But first, she wants to get all her stuff at Suki's house. Once she got all her things, Jamie and Marion went to a drive-away car rental. The owner has no idea that the car he offered to them was the car where the suitcase has been hidden. As the girls busy planning their trip, the car rental owner was being confronted by three guys who are actually the ones who will rent the old car. Things start to get messy and confusions begin between the men and their boss as they need to look and chase for Marion and Jamie before they eventually discover the suitcase. Jamie tells Marion they can have a few stopover before going to Tallahassee, but Marion doesn't agree with the idea since they're just renting the car. What's the big deal? The car isn't ours. But it's art. And the car is ours, don't Tallahassee. Then suddenly Jamie asks Marion when was the last time she got laid, and a crazy idea pops up. Jamie wants Marion to finally have a satisfying one night make out with a girl. She knows Marion is a lesbian but still can't come out. Loosening you up so we can get you laid, sugar sweet. How long's it been? Oh my god, Marion, don't tell me it's been years. Once they checked in, Jamie looks for a nearby lesbian bar so that Marion can finally meet a girl where she can spend a night making out. Marion, feeling so awkward about the idea, still went with Jamie. While inside her bar, Jamie asks Mari to just look around, and once she sees someone attractive to her, then she begins to make a move. But since Mari is not yet an out lesbian, everything is too awkward for her. Then tells Jamie this thing is not ready for her and that she just have to go back to their hotel. Jamie came back with a girl who thought she will make it out with Marion, but gets the wrong idea. So Marion left and gives Jamie the night making out with the girl while reading her favorite book. The next day, as they continue their trip, and Jamie was the one driving, and Marion asked her what it's like making out last night with a stranger. Jamie said it was okay, but still insists that Marion has to experience being laid so before going to Tallahassee. They had another stopover and gets to meet a female soccer team who are visibly all lesbian. The three men still tries to look for them and their boss is getting annoyed as they badly need the suitcase. Jamie and Marion went with the Sahar team and spent the night kissing and drinking. Marion still feeling awkward tries to kiss a girl while Jamie had her own thing. They somehow had a group thing going on, kissing one girl at a time and when it's Marion and Jamie's turn to kiss each other, Marion tells them that Jamie's just a friend. Everyone looked at her, then Jamie holds her hand and tells her it's gonna be okay, so they started kissing. Suki was being confronted by the two men looking for Jamie and Marion. Since Suki is angry with Jamie, she gave them Jamie's photo and other details where to find them. Marion stopped kissing Jamie and left the group. While walking along the street, the police told her and asked her where she is going. Jamie was kissing another girl inside the car, but this time around, it seems she longs for Marion's kiss. Marion spent the night in jail as she wasn't able to give the police exact details as to where she is actually staying. Jamie feeling concerned since Marion didn't came back the night. The two men still on chase looking for them and was informed that the ladies are on their way to Tallahassee. 
Marion thanks Jamie for picking her up as they drive along. The car's tire burst and they need to stop and fix it. And they finally discover the suitcase. The soccer team gave details to the two men about Jamie and Marion, but they suspect that the girls were not telling the truth, so they just left. Jamie and Marion opened the suitcase and were surprised to see what's inside. It's something that's too personal and private, so Marion said they have to call the police, but Jamie insists not to. If they will call, the police might think they're part of it. Jamie and Marion finally arrived in Tallahassee and jumped into a hotel. Jamie said that she is sure that they are now being searched by a group since they have the suitcase. Jamie calls Suki and tells her about the suitcase and that she can check the owner of the car rental shop. They had a dinner, then Jamie reveals to Marion that she has thought about the idea and now she is sure that she wants to make out with her so that Marion can finally feel satisfied. You mean, you want to sleep with me? Marion, you have got to have a good stingy fuck. Marion feeling shocked but realized there's nothing wrong to try it and besides Jamie is her friend. While dancing, Marion begins to feel attention and kiss Jamie. The night they finally made love and they both felt so satisfied. The men finally got hold of Jamie and Marion and got the suitcase. But as they were arguing, one man started shooting and killed the other two men. It was being revealed to Jamie and Marion that the suitcase belongs to famous politicians. That's why they need to return it to them. They got the suitcase back and Jamie calls the senator and blackmails him. Jamie said they will return the suitcase if the senator will pay them $1 million. They met at a bar and got the money from the senator. Jamie saw Suki with her dog and tells her she can have their pet. While talking, the senator tries to shoot them but Suki was fast enough to see him and shoots him first. The senator survives but his reputation was ruined because of what happened. Jamie gets to meet Marion's aunt and tells her they should be going to Massachusetts since same-sex marriage is allowed there. And while saying this, she looks at Marion and the two finally realize they're in love with each other. Want more queer content? Then please subscribe and hit the notification bell.